I never intended on inventing a metal refining system. I built the Four Horsemen because I was given 10 rules to follow in my life. And it's not the 10 you're thinking of. I follow those too. If I need sodium hydroxide to do my job, I need to know what it is, where it comes from, and how it's made. So I built this thing to make my own. It runs on salt water and electricity, and one of its byproducts is chlorine gas. So let's do an experiment. First I made a chlorine generator with chlorine tablets and pumped that chlorine gas into a beaker where I placed a gold-plated ceramic teapot. And within just minutes, the gold foils started to fall off the teapot. And this is kind of a side-by-side -side comparison. In the beaker on the right, I have a teapot that's plated in gold, just submerged in hydrochloric acid that's on about medium heat. In this middle beaker, we'll place the other gold-plated item and we'll pump the chlorine gas through the hydrochloric solution. Now that we know that chlorine gas removes gold plate from ceramic, let's see if the chlorine that is generated from my sodium hydroxide cell from the salty experiment video can deplate two pounds of gold jewelry. Electrochemistry is actually a pretty simple concept. First, you just need a power supply. And then you need an enclosure to put the reaction in. Positive is the anode, negative is the cathode. And by using different types of anode and cathodes and lowering those into different types of solutions, we get different reactions. For this experiment, I'll be using a cathode from the pool store and an anode from the hardware store to make sodium hydroxide. And to neutralize the chlorine gas from that experiment, I'm going to run the chlorine gas into a beaker full of gold-plated jewelry. I've had this experiment in mind for quite a while. That's why I built a large fume hood. I wanted a safe environment to do these bigger experiments while I run tests and scale them down to more of a benchtop version. So don't let the way I'm doing it be the way you do it. Experiment. You can use plastic buckets and silicone, but this reaction makes chlorine gas and chlorine is very dangerous to breathe in. So I'm using a distillation setup. So here I'm putting the positive electrode made of graphite into an aspirator bottle the same aspirator bottle we use for the Four Horsemen system. It has one way in and one way out, and on the way out, I've attached a naphion membrane. The aspirator bottle also has a port on the top to connect right into a standard distillation setup. This way we can catch the chlorine gas as it's produced at the anode. question is, can chlorine gas do a good enough job on all of this metal? I've tested it on a small scale already and it worked pretty well. The gold foils washed off of the items with water and I tested using um, hydrochloric acid to rinse the metal as well. I know the rest of the metal in the beaker, I can just melt that and we could run it through the four horsemen to capture any gold that I missed. Running all these experiments, I learned that PVC tubing is the way to go for chlorine. 
The siliconized tubes work for about 24 to 48 hours and then they fail. So it can work for small runs, but neoprene did not work for even an hour. Also, rubber attachments work if you wrap them in Teflon tape to protect the rubber. Chlorine makes a mess of rubber otherwise. It's also wise to build a little charcoal filter to exhaust the chlorine through. This one is an Aline condenser that I filled about 75% full of activated charcoal. Charcoal will capture most of the chlorine and it can even be washed out and reused. I was concerned that it would take quite a while to get through all of this metal with just the chlorine that's produced from the sodium hydroxide generator. So I'm going to hook up a chlorine generator to speed things up a bit. If I was only going after the gold and needed to get the project done quicker, this is the way I would recommend running the setup. Just connect a chlorine generator that produces chlorine by dripping hydrochloric acid on crushed up chlorine tablets from the pool store. Pipe that gas into a container full of your gold plated items. So here I'm just basically set up and I'm running two different experiments pushing chlorine gas down into this collection beaker. Where hopefully we can wash the gold foils right down this hose and into this collection beaker. I ran the entire experiment for two days, but I figure it should take less than eight hours if you're set up just right. When you go to open up the system, be sure to vent it. I used my vacuum pump. I added a few places where I could get into the system if need be, and always have a pressure relief built in somewhere in the system so pressure doesn't build up. Now I pour in some fresh water to flush out the gold foils.